Hello fabulous people, welcome back to my channel. It's Millie here. If you're new on my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe. Now, on this channel, we talk about businesses, finances, and lifestyle. So we talk about how to get money, how to keep money, and all of that stuff. So if this is something that interests you, please subscribe and stick by and I will be posting a lot more videos on here. If you're a return viewer, thank you for stopping by again. I truly appreciate you. Now I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscribers, so please help a sister out and subscribe. Thank you. We're gonna be talking about eight service-based businesses that you can start in 2023, yes? I know we're a few months away from 2023 and I have put together this list to help people out, people who are thinking about starting businesses but they don't wanna sell stuff, but they have maybe something that they enjoy doing and they wanna start it, or maybe the things that I'm about to list, you didn't even know you can provide those services. The first step that I'm gonna be talking about is landscaping services. This is a service that I personally use and I have a, a service guy who has put me on a monthly schedule. So he shows up every other week and he cuts my grass and he fixes the lawn and I pay him monthly. So this is something you can also do. You go around and look for houses that you think, oh, I can do this. You can set up an ad on Facebook Market or post an ad on Facebook Market or other Facebook groups in your area. That's something you can do and get these services going. And you don't require any money to start. If you have a lawnmower, you're usually ready to go because these are services that people are always constantly looking for. And as I said, I use it every year. Now, if you live in a place where the weather is not hot year round, you can actually also provide snow removal services. So summertime, you do the lawn mowing, gardening, and all of that. And then in winter time, you offer the snow removal services. So the guy that does my lawn, he also does my snow removing. So year round, I'm paying him. And he has other people that are on his schedule that they're paying him year round. And this is his full-time job. And that's how he pays his bills. That's how he lives. So this is something you can look into and you can make extra money or turn it into your full-time job in 2023. The next one that I'm gonna be talking about, this is something that I actually do. I provide this service and I still do. This is cleaning services. Cleaning services is something that, you know what? A lot of people don't wanna clean their own houses. There are offices that people hire cleaning services to clean. Now there are these short stay rentals like Airbnb and all the other platforms that use cleaning services. You can market yourself so well that you can make five figures a month. You can look for clients by posting ads on your local Facebook groups, yes or there's a, uh, an app called Nextdoor. There's also, if you're trying to do the Airbnb, there's an app called Turnover. And this app, it actually notifies you when people are looking for cleaners for their Airbnbs, and then you can go on and bid. And I've gained a lot of contracts from that app. And so that's something that I, I still use today and you can use it to schedule or to assign jobs to your employees. It's actually a great platform. Or if you're gonna be doing it yourself, there's so many things that you can do on there and customers can leave you reviews. So if you have reviews, people can look at it and they will say, oh, this person is good, let's use her. Or this person is good, yet yeah, let's use him. So Turnover, that's the app that I use for my Airbnb cleaning services. Now for the other cleaning that I offer, like the house cleaning, I do post on Kijiji. It's like Craigslist. If you don't have Kijiji in your area, it's like Craigslist. It's a classified page that you can go and post your ads on there or your businesses on there and you can get clients 
that way. Now, if you live in a hot area, you can provide pool cleaning services as well. And people do use that service and they pay a lot of money for that. So check that as well. My next step is going to be property management. Now property management, this is something I do as well. I do it for short stay. So for Airbnb, I act as a host and I do help homeowners to make their Airbnb services easier for them. So I basically manage their Airbnbs for them. What I usually do when I bid to provide the cleaning services for you, I also offer to either co-host at a fee or host at a fee. Property management is actually a very good way to make money and you do require zero dollars to start this business. Every booking they get, you get a cut and you also get to keep the cleaning fee because you're providing the cleaning services as well. And since we talked about property management, the next step we're gonna get into is a real estate agent. Now the real estate agent, that it does require a little bit of investment and a, there is a little bit of a learning curve. You have to get your since real estate license and it does require you to take some exams. It's a self-study, most states, or most provinces, it's a self-study course that you take and you take your exams and you pass and you are now certified to or licensed to sell houses or to sell properties. And so that's something that you can look into. Now for real estate, it does require you to have some bit of a little bit of a personality. It's not for everyone. You have to know how to talk to people. You have to know how to sell. It's actually a selling job. So you have to, a sales job. So you have to know how to sell. You have to know how to talk to people. You have to be likable. I mean, you don't have to be loud or anything. I know a real estate agent personally that is actually a very quiet guy. He's so quiet, but every single day he's closing, 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 closing. And so you don't have to be all loud and hey, hey, no. You just have to be likable. You can be calm, cool, quiet, but you can still be likable. If you know how to study fast and you're able to retain the information, go do the exams and get your license and you're legal to start selling houses. And that's just how it is. So look into it, look at the requirements that you have to do or the requirements in your state and get your license and start selling houses and making the money. The next step that we're gonna be talking about is mobile mechanic. You know how to change tires. You know how to change brake pads. You know how to change, I mean, little, little things on cars, on vehicles that sometimes people don't wanna drive to the mechanic. They want the, me the mechanic to come to them. That's a service that you can provide. And as I said, if you know how to do any of the things that I listed, you just post your ad and sometimes same day, next day, you can get a client. So that's something you can look into. You're sitting on money right now. So get up. If you have a vehicle that you can drive to the customer's house and you know how to change tires, you know how to change brake pads, what are you waiting for? Why are you not going? <laughs> Anyways, post, post, post your ad on Facebook Market next door. Kijiji, Craigslist, use.com, anywhere that will allow you to post an ad. Post it and go get your coins because you're sitting on money. You know how to change brake pads and you're not working? How come? Because I talked about mobile mechanic, my next step, we're gonna be talking about mobile car washing service. Mobile car washing service. Now, if you know how to wash cars or you clean your car interior yourself. What are you waiting for? There are people with dirty cars. Yes, there are people with dirty cars. There are people that actually provide the services for companies. So they'll go to a company and they'll say, can you tell your employees that I can come to be a parking lot whilst they're working? I can come to be a parking lot and clean their cars for them whilst they work. So by the time you finish working, inside and outside of your car is clean and you drive off to your house. And it's in a public area, so you're safe. 
You get what I mean? So if you have any of this services or you're already providing the services but you're going to people's houses, now I gave you another idea. Go to companies, offer that service. Tell them, can you tell your employees I clean cars while they work? and get it done. However you can make money, get out there and make it. And services are something that will never go out of style. People always need services. So go get it. Now the next step that I'm gonna be talking about is moving services. Now moving services, sometimes you do require a vehicle or a big vehicle, but you can start off by, I've seen ads that people post that I can help you move, help you move. Need an extra hand moving, I'm available. So the person that is moving has gone to rent a car from U-Haul, but they cannot lift the, the furniture themselves, so they need an extra help. That's where you come in. So you're offering moving services. You don't have a vehicle, but you are offering the services at a rate because you're helping someone move. So that's something you can look into. Or you have a pickup truck that you can fit stuff into the back, you can start doing this service, provide this service. Or some people will go hire a U-Haul and they will offer this service until they make a lot of money to buy their own truck. So look into it. The next step that I'm gonna be talking about is handyman services. So basically, you know how to do stuff around the house. You know how to fix a broken chair. You know how to fix lights. You know how to um, paint. Painting, that's a big one. Painting. People are always looking for painters. And I know, I, I know, I have friends who are painters and they make a lot of money. So painting, if you know how to swipe the brush up and down and make it cover and <laughs> you know how to paint, Provide your service in 2023. Do your homework, figure out what you need in order to start. Usually it's just a paintbrush and that's it. When people hire you, when you get your deposit, you can go buy the brush or the roller, roller and you start. So you don't require any money to start this business. All the businesses I've mentioned, you don't require any money to start them, except for the real estate agent, which you need to invest money into the education. But the rest of this stuff, you really don't. Unless if you don't know how to do any of them and you wanna actually take a course to learn how to do it. Let's say you don't know how to paint. You wanna pay someone to teach you how to paint. Or you can be an apprentice and learn how to paint. And that's about it. And you can provide these services. You get what I mean? So handyman services, it, there's a, a long list, but I'm gonna say painting, fixing things around the house. You know how to do all of that. Post yourself online or post an ad in your local classified um, page and get your services out there and go we'll make your money. And the last bonus tip that I'm gonna add is becoming a personal assistant. Yes, let's say you were a personal assistant at a big company and now you wanna provide that service, but then you want it to be on your own terms, your own boss, you can actually provide that service. And there's so many platforms that you can post your yourself on there that people can come and hire you. There's a page called Upwork, there's a page called Fiverr, and you can post on your local Facebook group. Yes, again, Facebook group. You can post on Kijiji, Craigslist, anywhere that you can post that you are providing the service, you can post it there and people will come and hire you. And when someone hires you, how you get yourself up there is when you have reviews. So make people review your, the service that you provided to them and it will have a lot more people come and hire you. So that's what I'm gonna leave you with. These are the steps. If this was helpful in any way, let me know in the comment section if there are any other service jobs that you think it will help people please list them below or if you know someone that's providing any service jobs that you think it will still be good for 2023 list them below let us know let us learn from each other thank you so much for watching this video i truly appreciate you and see you in my next video